three, two, one. It is March Madness. March 16th, Selection Sunday just happened a few hours ago, like three hours ago. But we have a bracket ready to go. We're going to go through this in under five minutes. That's my goal. I've been doing this forever. You run your own March Madness bracket, you want to save hours of your life instead of scoring everything on paper with pencil and paper. Don't do it. Here you go. So we've got our blank entry sheet that you can send out to people. Ken's Talk. That's me. Put your name here up top. First thing you see is you got a pink thing here. You got some playing games. This is Albany versus St. Mary's. When that happens, you can fill it in. I don't know if people you're giving your brackets out to people earlier. You got stuff to deal with, but whatever. Let's choose St. Mary's. Let's say Florida wins here. Colorado wins here. Use the mouse to do this. It's going to work all the way through. Florida. And you go all the way through, right? We've got all these things. We've got all these playing games over here in the Midwest. You got to take care of all this stuff. But once it's all done, I have an example of one that is completely done over here that I've been messing around with. Once it's done, you go to the range up here called A Picks. It's actually down in the bottom left. It highlights all the picks that we just made. It highlights them all. You just copy. You go over to your master bracket. Your master bracket, I will send you. We'll get that going if you need one. Go to your all data sheet and you paste special values, you have to pay special values, bring over formula data and you're turning it into values here so you paste as values and OK. And you've got a entry complete. And then all you do is you go to your standing sheet and you refresh and you get points. And so all you have to do is go into your master bracket and when the game actually happens, if Florida wins, you choose Florida. Go refresh your standings, and you see that a couple people had points. Is actually the same entry in here twice. That has Florida, and we we're going to go into a million ways to show standings, which I'll do in later videos. But it's that easy. You don't have to score anything else. You're just done. These are your people. It's, it's so great. So um, this thing is out. This thing is ready to go. I'm sending emails. You can contact me, Ken at KenStock.com. Look through some of the other, other videos that you'll see here in the playlist of uh, prior brackets. They all kind of work in a, in a similar way, but this is the nicest one in a long time, 2014. This is a this is a great looking bracket, I think, here. It's my poor dog that passed away. Bummer. But uh, great looking bracket, and uh, you're going to have a lot of fun with this. And if you're running your, you're running your tournament, you call, have fun with your office pool, do it. So. Um, I don't know, we're going to do more videos as we go here. Oh yes, there's one thing, you can change your custom team names if you want to put like the team's record up here. You can type over these yellow cells. You know, oh, was Florida 31 and 6? I, I don't know what they were. But you could do that, and then once you do that and go back to your main bracket, you're going to see that Florida up there in the top left actually gets changed to whatever it is you typed, and they become that option. So, good stuff. Um, contact me. Happy March Madness. It's going to be a fun one day on Tuesday. I know everyone gets back to work, and this, is, this becomes top priority. So, I'll give you a call if you need help, or, uh, or shoot me an email, actually, and we'll get this done. That is the March Madness bracket in 3 minutes and 42 seconds. Much better than 5 minutes. I'm sure I left out something, but I don't know. Let's have fun.